An increasing amount of adults who transitioned into the opposite gender as a child or teenager now want to detransition back. Yeah, this is according to a new study creating a lot of buzz about gender dysphoria. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel has more on a new report just released. It was presented both to me and my parents, as this is your option to fix things. Luca Bunny Hine was only 16 years old when she had a double mastectomy and was prescribed cross-sex hormones as part of her transition from female to male. Now, four years later, Hine is part of a growing number of young adults who are choosing to detransition. She says she felt pressured by her doctors into medically transitioning in the first place. Dealing with some of the like more underlying issues in depth would have definitely been a better place to start. Seeing that I was clearly a teenager that had mental health issues. I was on psychiatric drugs at the time for depression and anxiety. The moment you men mention trans identity, everything else is forgotten. We're not doing thorough background checks, it's psychological evaluations. We're not treating suicidality in the way we would normally treat it. Clinical psychologist Dr. Joseph Burgo says that transition therapy is placed too quickly upon young people without any sort of psychological exploration and that they are left out in the cold when they decide to detransition. These kids are put on the fast track and given hormones and all this treatment when they're trans and when they detrans, there's nothing for them. A 2021 study from the Institute for Comprehensive Gender Dysphoria Research found that over half of individuals who detransitioned did not receive adequate mental health evaluations before starting their original transition. Laura Becker was 19 years old when she started testosterone treatments before having her breasts removed seven months later. Now, at 25, she says she regrets the decision to transition. You're going against your own physiology, and you desperately want it to be a solution. Becker, who was diagnosed as being autistic as a young child, as well as having a hormonal disorder known as polycystic ovary syndrome, says that her conditions led to what she calls a, quote, more extreme version of adolescence. I was severely depressed, and it just kept getting more severe as I got older. But there's a lot of ways to relieve pain, mental pain. And we should use that. We should focus on the least invasive first option. For the minority who do reverse or halt their gender-affirming interventions, a recent York University-led study found a lack of support or clinical care from the medical community. In New York, Dr. Mark Siegel, Fox News.